Critics are questioning President Biden over his many, many, many trips to Delaware. The president has reportedly spent more than one quarter of his term in Delaware. That's 174 days away from the White House. It's also 39 more days than President Trump at, his, at this time in his term, more time out of the office than all of his recent predecessors as well. And the First Lady has reportedly been working overtime to protect her husband. According to the New York Times, Dr. Jill Biden has a lot of influence on the president's decisions. She even helped vet White House officials. Tammy Bruce is a Fox News contributor. She joins us now. What acumen or, or what um, life experience professionally do we know that Dr. Jill Biden has for vetting White House officials? Well, I think that it's not about what they're going to do for the country necessarily or how they're going to do their job. What she can do is she understands what her husband can do and what her husband's capable of and what he needs. So I think any spouse could vet those individuals in that fashion. And that's what worries me, that this is about really just protecting him as an individual. And you know, many of us, myself included, thought she would stop this from happening because she would love her husband and not want his reputation ruined. But it seems as though, we'll remember a photograph early on, she was on Air Force One at the president's desk, I believe with his jacket on, looking at a, a binder of, of, you know, policies and things. And it was like the people were saying, who got elected here? She was... It, literally photographed in his position. So we've known that the president is not necessarily as engaged. Uh, the fact is she's protecting him specifically. It means someone else really is running the country, and we've had that question from the beginning. Are we comfortable? I guess the question then becomes for voters if he should want to run in 2024. Mm -hmm. Is there a comfort zone for a person who has never been elected to, to have that That's role? That's the issue. So here's what's interesting to yeah. me about what you said, and it's spot on especially given that picture that, that I do recall, why wasn't that Kamala Harris? We, we actually do have somebody to do exactly. that job. Exactly. She would be the vice president. Exactly. So is this like, uh, what is this exactly? Well, from the beginning, clearly all of these were political decisions. Uh, and whether it's because Kamala Harris did real damage to him during that one debate about the issue of busing and, well, and racial segregation. Well, you know, it's funny how quickly she pulled out of the race once that was done, and then she became the vice president. So we look; those kinds of choices are, are made all the time for political reasons, to get somebody out of a race in order to protect yourself. But the fact of the matter is, is that this is something that you're absolutely right. No one would have minded we should exceed the vice president in a, in a position like that. But for all this time, we haven't really even seen that. That, mm -hmm. of course, was the beginning, perhaps, of the division that maybe was there from the beginning between her office and the president's. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Jill Biden is doing everything right now. She is putting clothes on him as they're coming off flights. He's dropping his sunglasses. She's helping him with every yeah. aspect of life. The All world right. sees that as well, and uh, they know what's going on. Let's quickly get to this. Uh, a Wall Street Journal op-ed by Bill McGurn argues Obama warned us about Joe. Uh, and, and you remember what he said. Um, on the eve of 2020, Iowa caucuses, Politico lobbed a grenade in Joe Biden's direction. Mm -hmm. It was a story noting that the former vice president was trying to play the Obama card, even though Obama hadn't endorsed the man who had served him faithfully for eight years. The money mm -hmm. quote was, don't, un don't underestimate Joe's ability to expletive things up real quick. Well, it, you know, Barack Obama's the leader of the party, effectively. He ha has the most power in the, Repo in the Democratic Party. Uh, and he could have stopped this from happening, but he didn't. So he knew of the weaknesses of this man. He knew what would occur. Perhaps he felt that Susan Rice could run the country. I don't know. But we've got this problem. He could have stopped it. He didn't. And that's what everybody needs to know. He says some nice well, now things. Now Obama's but back. But then oh, again, yeah. who else do they have? With exactly. his popularity. Exactly. Yeah, no one. He decimated that party right. during his time, and that's why. Thank you, Tammy. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.